Ah, oh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Panama Cards. I'm Francois. I'm your host today, and we're gonna talk soccer. Uh, there's lots of things to talk about, so we're gonna start uh, slowly. But first, I would like to to give a shout out to all the interesting uh, YouTube channels that that we can find uh, in on in YouTube, <laughs> obviously. Uh, so I, I noticed we have some Belgians like me uh, doing some great stuff in the in the cards. Uh, so if you so if you like cards, if you like soccer, if you like stickers, uh, go check them out. So first, uh, the most the most complete, I would say, a really big shout out to Vincent from Card Hour. Uh, really interesting. If you're not subscribed, go ahead. And uh, also ESCC official, uh, also from Belgium, really doing uh, nice things and giving nice information and also collecting emotion. Uh, also really nice Belgian channel uh, that where you can find some great information and of course you have also international channels that are really really interesting uh, shout out to my man Brandon Chung really really interesting channel as well the Sunday League investors also super great uh, flipping Steve always nice videos sport cards sports cards UK and Adam Pivos from the UK also doing some really nice video I would recommend you guys uh, to support those channels if you don't do it already so without further ado uh, we're gonna talk about the, the, the regular season starting soon in soccer and we have a lot of transfer movement uh, still a lot to be determined but we have also already some sure things uh, for next season to look for so Really reminding you from my last video to look for James Rodriguez in Everton. He's gonna have a main role there and uh, he might get uh, back his uh, star uh, status that he had a few years back before he, be he became like a bench player in those uh, super high uh, rated clubs. Also Philippe Coutinho who was on the bench in Bayern and most probably will start alongside Lionel Messi and Mirelem Pjanic in Barcelona this season so that's really a nice uh, middle so yeah Coutinho and Pjanic of course really interesting his cards now that the cards are low uh, you can find his cards for really cheap I think I'm about to, to grade a few of the Pjanic but also look sometimes for lots uh, like the team lots they can be even less expensive than the single card and for example, right now, I bought a few Bostian, uh, lots from Bosnia from the 2014 World Cup. And you don't have, you only, uh, you have Asmir Begovic, who's a really good goalkeeper, but not the one I'm interested. Spajic is not playing much at the moment. But then you get the Pjanic, really interesting player. And one player who might have a breakout this season, his transfer has just been confirmed to Juventus, Edin Zeko. Edin Zeko could have a really nice season uh, in Juventus. Yeah, they just uh, acquired him uh, instead of going for Luis Suarez, who's now uh, in the mix. Maybe he could go to Atletico. Uh, we, we don't know it yet. So the, the, but at least Zeko uh, is going to be playing in Juventus next to Cristiano Ronaldo. Uh, Iguain has left, it's also been confirmed, so I don't know about uh, Gonzalo Iguain, the value of his card right now, how it's gonna be. Is it gonna be better for him to go to the MLS, he's going to enter Miami? Uh, is it gonna be good for him, for the value of his cards, if he's going to, to a, the US market? Maybe the uh, collectors from the US will have more interest, or do you think um, it will it will make him go down a bit I think he still had uh, to stay a bit in Europe like for two years he could have been the star of, of, uh, of a lower lower club um, but yeah he chose to go to, to Miami that's the MLS the, the level is a bit lower than the European Championships so yeah we'll see what happens to him but my personal take is that it's not gonna help much the value of his cards We'll see. We'll see what happens. 
Then, uh, as Edin Zeko was moving to Juve, uh, Roma made a nice move in getting Arek Milik from uh, Napoli, and uh, he might have also a good uh, a good time of playing the, playing time there. So it's nice, also nice to watch what's going to happen with Roma. Uh, they made a few nice moves too. Uh, so maybe they could be in the, the in the contenders at least for the championship. Uh, we'll see what happens in Serie A, which is uh, starting tomorrow. So woohoo! Super happy. Everything is restarting. Then uh, we'll go have a look at the Spurs move. Uh, just been confirmed this morning that uh, Gareth Bale and Sergio Reyon from who belong to uh, Real Madrid, they've been transferred to the Spurs. That's been confirmed. That's an interesting move. Uh, maybe Gareth Bale will come back to his uh, star level when he was in Tottenham, where he's going to be feeling good and maybe be able to play a bit of golf uh, in, in England. I don't know. Uh, so interesting moves uh, from, for the Spurs. And then one of the most interesting moves, maybe that one move is beating all the moves from Chelsea. Uh, the move from Thiago Al Alcantara from Bayern to Liverpool, that's been confirmed too. Uh, so that's really, really exciting. I think Thiago Al Alcantara cards uh, should go really up in value right now. So that's something interesting. Now, everyone is expecting moves from Manchester United, uh, looking to various players, but I don't know if uh, you, they are realizing the fans are asking for, for moves for Manchester United, but Manchester United, since the Bruno Fernandes move, was a really, really good team. And uh, they had a really bad start of the season, so they, might, they did not uh, finish in the top three uh, in, in the Premier League this season, but it's mostly because their start of the season was bad. But the end of the season, they were a good team, and I think they don't need much uh, transfers. They just need more, um, more the, the the team to click together, and uh, I think keeping that uh, that uh, those players together is something they should do. That's something usually in the sports world uh, we try to make transfer because things are not working. But here we look, but and it never solves. The the sometimes lower tier players will click better uh, together. It's important in a team to 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 make the players work together. It's good to have like uh, superstars, and if you can make the superstars work together, it's gonna be even better. But if you have things working, I think you shouldn't make too much transfers. And that's my my take on Manchester United. I think they should maybe add one player or two, but they should stay in the same uh, nucleus that they had last season. That's my point on Manchester United. Um, we don't know what Manchester City is doing at the moment, but they already have a good team. Um, they were looking for Koulibaly, but apparently things fell through, so we don't know who they're gonna go after on defense uh, right now, so we'll see. Uh, so to come back to Pjanic, Pjanic coming to Barcelona also made Artur Melo go, go to Juve. Also really interesting for him. Uh, that move might give him a brighter spot uh, under, under the lights. Uh, so that's something really interesting looking to Artur Melo cards. Uh, then one of my favorite players, but he hasn't been playing for a while, but now he's gonna have a chance this season. Michi Bacuayi is gonna be... Uh, playing for Crystal Palace. That's, I think, a good move. I would have preferred, as I said before, uh, to see him go to Leeds, but in the end that didn't go through. But I think Crystal Palace is a good move. He's been on the loan there already. He knows uh, a bit the team. He knows most of the players, so I think he could click with them on the offense. That's something really interesting too. And his cards are super, super cheap. Uh, his select cards, because he doesn't have a prism, uh, mostly for I'm taking uh, talking about the national team cards uh, they should have a really nice value uh, then some I've seen on on the Instagram some rumors about the Spurs going still after another Real Madrid player uh, which is Luka Modric we don't know what could happen to Modric cards but uh, yeah he could be on the move we don't know it yet so that's still uh, at the state of rumor, otherwise he will still be playing for Real Madrid 
still a great club, still interesting investing in Luka Modric cars. But also Ivan Rakitic went back to Sevilla. And that's, to me, a really good move for him, for his career. Uh, he was not that happy in Barcelona. And uh, I think he's going to have... Uh, he's the captain already in Sevilla when, when he got, just got back to the team. So I think he's going to have a really good season. So also good to invest in these cards right now because they're still low. And then one intriguing uh, Croatian player to stay in the Croatian players to me is Marcelo Brozovic. Marcelo Brozovic is currently playing for Inter, but he has been uh, seen in transfer talks. So for now he's staying at Inter, but he could be on the move as well uh, because we know they brought already Arturo Vidal. Um, so yeah, we don't know exactly what's going to happen with Brozovic. Uh, they could maybe trade him for another player. We don't know yet, but interesting to look where he goes or if he stays. It's a, he's a player that I really like in Inter. I think he should stay. Um, but one player that apparently is going to move to Inter and stay there is also Raja Nangolan. The Belgian uh, was playing for Cagliari last season. Uh, I think it was on a loan because he was always uh, he, he belongs to Inter and I've seen him play preseason games with Inter and he's playing really well. He's back to his own self, so really like uh, Raja Nangolan. So that could also mean a move for Brozovic uh, if Nangolan takes his spot. So we'll see about that. Also um, uh, for uh, Leicester. They got Cengiz uh, Under from Roma, really nice Turkish uh, forward. That's uh, some interesting thing to watch for too. And then one guy who to me deserves a spot in a club and doesn't have it yet. Uh, this guy, Mr. Edinson Cavani. Cavani still has, according to me, a few more years uh, in front of him. So. He should be uh, considered by a good team, I think, uh, to, to add for at least one or two seasons more uh, in a European club. So, <coughs> that's a bit what I want to talk about for the transfer that are done. Now, there's still a lot of speculations around a lot of players. Uh, Luis Suarez, where is Luis Suarez going? Usain Mawar from Lyon, where is he going? There are talks with Arsenal, uh, we don't know exactly. Memphis. Memphis from Lyon is linked to Barcelona. Is it a done deal yet? We don't know either. Uh, Jorginho Wijnaldum from Liverpool, also the super good uh, Dutch midfielder. And uh, where is he going now that Thiago has arrived uh, in Liverpool? We have no idea. That could be Barcelona too, but still the talks are in, so we don't know. Uh, where it could go. Ivan Perisic could be moving. Douglas Costa could be moving. Kingsley Coman from uh, Bayern München could be moving. So there are still a lot of interesting transfers to watch for and all those players could end up in, a, in another team, have bigger roles or the opposite, have smaller roles. So according to what you think, have a look into their cards. There maybe I like to look at the national team cards like the Prism but you have all the cards, you have, uh, you have their Champions League cards. There's lots of possibilities uh, and yeah, lots of opportunities at the moment. So yeah, that's my take uh, for this week on the, on the transfer world in soccer. And I'm really, really excited uh, for the start of all the seasons. Uh, here in Panama, um, I have all the Serie A and the Bundesliga that I can watch. Now I always go to streaming to watch Premier League because I love Premier League, obviously. Um, but yeah, Serie A is, and Bundesliga are going to be really, really interesting. So yeah, if you have any, any other takes, some players that I forgot, um, just feel free to comment. And uh, yeah, remember to go check all the channels I told you about at the start of the video. Obviously subscribe to mine and like and comment. I like to have some interactions. I don't have enough uh, So I like to talk <laughs> So yeah, give me your comments. I will answer uh, Always and check our Instagram as well. So yeah, thanks everyone ladies and gentlemen for your attention I hope you had a good time and uh, see you next time for another soccer market talk. Bye